Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. You know I'm doing the arm thing, so I'm excited. <laughs> it is empties time again. I cannot believe it. I have a ton of empties this time, a ton. And and some different stuff from what I've had in the past. A lot of the time it's, it's a lot of my like staples, but this time it's a bunch of new things too. And I thought you'd be interested in seeing what I used up. My only thought with how much I have is that it was summer and because I'm a teacher, I was home a lot more. So I just used up a lot more things. But anyway, let's just get into it. Let's start with a tried and true, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration makeup remover balm i love this stuff this is definitely like in my top three probably favorite makeup removers it's a little bit pricey i feel like it's like between 12 and 15 dollars depending on where you get it and there's not a ton in here well two ounces yeah it's two ounces i'd say one of these probably lasts me about a month maybe depends on how much makeup i'm wearing how often i'm wearing it all that good stuff but it does work really well it has a really light fragrance but it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't bother me i just put it on honestly i always take my makeup off in the showers so i'll just put it on before i kind of get my face in the water in the shower and then i just wash it off in the shower and it does a pretty good darn job sometimes there's some, still some residue left over when i like do my toner afterwards but it's very minimal i feel like for the price point there are a lot more expensive makeup remover balms that do not work as well as this, so highly recommend. I have the number seven Radiance Plus, which is 15% vitamin C, it's their serum. This is a holy grail serum for me. It's not that expensive because it's number seven, you can find it at Target, and I think this is either the second or third time I've repurchased this. It is so, so good. I did purchase a new one recently just because I wanted to try something new, but I did get it from the drugstore because I'm kind of at a point where like, I just wanna find good things at the drugstore. I feel like there's so much out there that I don't know about that I'm kind of like on the hunt for certain skincare. And I feel like a lot of it I have found. So this is one thing that I absolutely love. It's definitely like a thicker kind of serum. It's, it's not one of those watery kinds. I would think this is, this is kind of akin to like the Drunk Elephant C Firma, a similar kind of texture, but the bottle is tinted. Hopefully that kind of protects the serum. I know there's a lot with vitamin C and like going bad, exposure to air, all that good stuff. It's a dropper and I just really like it. There's a reason I've repurchased this several times. It's really good. I do see a difference in my skin when I use it. It does look a lot brighter. My hyperpigmentation doesn't seem as like prevalent on my face when I'm using this. So really really like this okay this is a fun household one for you the kirkland ultra clean what is this tough stain fighting power it's their pods we tend to get detergent a lot from costco because my husband's at costco all the time he's a caterer like i swear he's at costco every other day and so we will tend to get these just because for the price you get a lot of it, it let, this lasts you a really long time this lasts us for months so we do really like this one it doesn't have a scent or anything it's nothing fancy but if you're looking for like affordable it works this is really good the only thing i will say is sometimes so we have we live in a condo so we have a really small washing machine i swear i have to do like five loads of laundry every weekend and we don't even have any kids it's a lot but if you fill up your washing machine if you have a smaller washing machine and you fill it up to the brim and you put this in, really you're supposed to put these in first. Sometimes the pod will not fully dissolve and it'll get stuck to a piece of clothing. But we've discovered that if you find that, you can just run it over like running water and it will fully dissolve. So I just try to be a little bit more wary of that and I wanted to let you guys know, but for the most part, we really like these. I mean, we've seriously been repurchasing these for years and years and years. So it's just something I've noticed. If you have a small washing machine and it's really full and this is in there, sometimes that'll happen it won't fully dissolve it'll get stuck to your clothes but it's not staining the clothes or anything it's just like that weird plasticky waxy stuff will be stuck on your clothing but then once you run it over water it completely dissolves into soap so just wanted to let you guys know but we do like these okay we have the kiss my lashes but better in the Bear Affair style. I love these. This was in my last month's favorites. I swear, if you didn't see that video, I got so many compliments on these lashes. I swear. Men were complimenting me. Women were complimenting me. It was so interesting. I've never experienced that before with lashes. I'm wearing a different kind of lashes today. It's the Kiss Pompadour lashes, which I also love. I wore these at my wedding, but these are a little more like everyday, still fluttery, but like 
a little more natural looking and I love them. They are so good. It's awesome for the price too. Like these come with four pairs and I feel like I can get like four to five uses out of them as long as I'm taking care of them and not just like sticking them to any surface because I'm tired at the end of the day. Okay, now we have the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Soap. You guys, this is the only hand soap I use now. One of you guys recommended this to me for my contact dermatitis, which I'm working really ridiculously hard to get rid of. I literally am using distilled bottled water to wash my hands because I think that our water is aggravating my hands. We're just seeing, before we pay a lot of money to change the whole system over, I am just trying it. And it is, it is helping, but I ran out of this a couple weeks ago and I was using the Mrs. Myers, which I, I used to love the Mrs. Myers. Horrible. My hand just started peeling. You probably could have seen it in some videos, but so I literally had to go to Ace Hardware. They, that's where they sell this. Ace Hardware, I've seen it at Walmart, but Ace Hardware is the closest store to me. And I repurchased this and it instantly helped. Like there's something about this where like it still kills the germs, but it's super, super hydrating. So if you have dry hands, I really, really recommend this. Their hand creams too are awesome. I have two different ones and I love them both. So this is an amazing hand soap. Highly recommend. We have the Vita Bath Pink Champagne Foaming Bubble Bath. I loved this, you guys. Do you feel like it's hard to find bubble bath? Also, why does Bath & Body Works not have bubble bath? I think they have like two. And I swear, like I double checked on their website. They have like two. They're Bath & Body Works. I guess that sounds better than Shower & Body Works because I feel like most of their products are more for the shower and not for like a bath. And we don't have here, like we, so we have Bath & Body Works. We don't have like Lush or any place like that. I was on a hunt for bubble bath and I feel like drugstores often don't have very good bubble bath either. So I actually found this at TJ Maxx and it's a really big bottle, 38 fluid ounces. And the smell smelled like pink champagne is a smell I really, really like. Yeah, it smells so good. And the bubbles, it created a lot of bubbles that lasted a really long time. So I was like, great, this was only $6.99 at TJ Maxx. And I was like, awesome, I'm just gonna buy all my bubble bath from TJ Maxx for, from now on. Really, really liked this. Okay, we have more laundry detergent. We have the Persil discs. The smell of these is amazing. Taylor Wynn and Jessica Braun were really into these a few years ago. I don't know if they still use them. Um, well, I know probably not Taylor Wynn because she's traveling all over, but I really like these. They smell so good. They get your laundry clean. Your laundry stays smelling like this. So if you are sensitive to smell, you probably wouldn't like this, but I really, really like these. We just, like I said, we tend to shop at Costco just because my husband's there so much, but every now and then I'm like, I want to treat myself to some very good smelling laundry discs. And this is the one you guys it's so good. I love it. Dove Advanced Care Invisible. I have been repurchasing this forever. It doesn't really have a scent. It's an antiperspirant too, which I know people have different feelings about, but I feel like it, it does a really good job. I feel like it keeps me kind of fresh all day. You know, the funny thing is recently I wanted to try something different. So I got a Old Spice in like a lavender scent and I liked the smell of it, but it did a terrible job, you guys. Like I felt like I needed to reapply halfway through the day and I'm like, isn't this for men? This women's one is way better. So I actually repurchased this one cause that one I was like, this is not cutting it. I don't have time to reapply throughout the day. This one so. is so funny. My husband's not home. So I feel like I can speak freely. Sweet, sweet TJ. He was so excited to give this to me to put into empties. And it's the Mahogany Teakwood by Bath & Body Works Cologne. It smells really good. I bought it for him for his birthday. His birthday was last month. And he really likes it. The only thing I'll say about this is that it doesn't last very well throughout the day. Like other colognes that he's had, I've noticed that by the end of the day, he still smells like it. I feel like this one wears off. But here's the thing about this. It's not an empty. This is just the box. <laughs> but he was so excited. Like he was helping me with a video that I didn't have the heart to tell him. Sweetheart, that's not an empty. It would be like after you finish. But I thought it was so sweet that I felt like I had to include it. So this is his non-empty and he really likes it. But it doesn't last that well throughout the day. Just so you know. <laughs> 
Okay, we have a couple of makeup remover wipes here. I have just a regular Target brand, and then I have the Neutrogena ones. This is more of like their travel size. I use these for swatches. I almost never use makeup remover wipes on my face anymore. I used to when I was in college, and I just feel like they burn the heck out of your face, you know? but I do use these for swatches. The other thing I use these for is to clean my vanity because my vanity is white and it doesn't have any kind of like, like I wanna say film, but I don't think that's right, like protectant vinyl or anything over it. So it's just wood. So it gets stained really easily with like my foundation and stuff. So I'll take these once I'm done using my makeup and wipe it down with this. I know environmentally is probably not the best, but I do buy these every now and then and I do use these for swatches. I do find myself needing them. I don't know how my makeup application is so messy. I, by the end of my makeup application, will just have gunk all over me. Like, I don't know if you can see, I literally have glitter on my arms right now. I'm like, how did this happen? Hence I use these. All right, we have a candle that is just about burned all the way through. I really don't feel like I can burn much more of this anyway, so I'm putting it in the empties. This is from the Candlelight Company. I have no idea where I got this, um, but it's their cinnamon pecan swirl, and it smells so flipping good. Like, the only thing about this though is that this candle is huge, I feel like, and I have been burning this for years. It's very much a fall winter kind of scent. So I would only pull it out during fall and winter and then I'd put it away. Actually, I was burning this in the summer for one, I was excited about fall, for, but for another, I was just trying to get through this so that I could bring some new candles, you know, into our house. And I love it though, it smells so good. Like you definitely can smell, it just smells like cinnamon rolls. It smells so, so good but it it was great a great candle i mean we seriously burned it for years and years and years and it's still i i want to say gotta be 2018 i swear that i got this it might be 2019 but i'm pretty sure it was 2018 so we've had this for a really long time and i finally burned through almost the entire thing so it's going into empties i really don't remember where i got this it might have been ross this doesn't look like a Target candle to me, but I could be wrong. All right, the L'Oreal Elvive Dream Lengths 8 Second Wonder Water. I love this stuff. I have hopped on the train. I talked about this, not in this past month's favorites, maybe the one before. It took me a while to figure out how to use this because my hair is so long. I feel like I wasn't applying enough of it because my hair is so long. I think it tells you you're only supposed to put like, oh yeah, two to three doses. Oh no, 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 no. For my long hair, I need like seven. So once you kind of figure out how much you need for your hair, it works really well. So I shampoo, I put this in it, and then I will just kind of wash it out and it really, really helps get out all the tangles. The only thing though is I feel like it dries out my hair and so I always use a conditioner afterwards too. They tell you you could use this in kind of like place of a conditioner. Um. Oh yeah, no, it says use conditioner after if needed. I always needed it, so I don't know. Uh, different hair types may be different, but I felt like this kind of dried out my hair a little afterwards. So, but once I put in conditioner, it was perfect. So I actually really need to repurchase this. This lasted me for a long time too, cause I only use it once a week. I wouldn't, it, because it dries out your hair, I would only use this once a week or once every few days. Okay, we have the Naturium Purple Ginseng, Ginseng, Ginseng Cleansing Balm. Love it. It's a fun, purple color. I use the whole thing up. A couple different influencers have talked about this and talked about not liking it. I love it. It's definitely like a little more waxy and it's kind of harder to get off, but I kind of like that about it because I feel like it helps me really get all of the makeup off. But yeah, it's a little on the more expensive side because it's Naturium. So this last time I just went back to my e.l.f. one, but I feel like I'm gonna repurchase this again soon because I really, really like it. I think it does an awesome job. Just know it might take you a little longer to take it off. If you are somebody that takes your makeup off at a sink, do not recommend because it takes you so long. If you take your makeup off in the shower like me, I think you'll probably love it. Okay, so. the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Drive, their fragrance spree. I use this under makeup. It does such a good job. I use the whole thing up. It's awesome. It's really lightweight, but it's really moisturizing. I just, I still feel like I haven't found that perfect moisturizer under makeup. Like, 
I feel like I want something that's just a little bit heavier, but if you like a lightweight gel kind of formula, it's not like the gel where it blends to nothing, you know, like it does hydrate really well. I just feel like I still haven't found the perfect one, but I do like this a lot and I probably would repurchase this. And it's Neutrogena, it's from the drugstore. So I feel like it's still kind of pricey though. It might be like $20 but it did do a really good job and I did use the whole thing up. So. And we have another e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Remover. Okay, I found this under my bed while I was cleaning the other day. It's empty. I think it just like, like got knocked over in my sleep and then I just never realized because it was empty that I was missing it, but it's the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboo Serum. This used to be my holy grail serum. It is a chemical exfoliant and it does an awesome, awesome job. But the only thing is that it's so expensive. So that's why, again, hence I'm on a search for like the best drugstore serums. And I found some that I really, really like, but this I do love. I used this when I had cystic acne too, and I felt like it really, really helped like before Accutane. So if you have a serious issue with acne like I did, this is awesome. And I used it even after Accutane. It did a great job. I would not use it while you're on Accutane because your um, skin is so, so thin. And so it would like probably not do great things to your skin, but it is really good. It's just the price tag. It's like $80 or something crazy like that, but it's so good. It is really, really good. I, I probably would repurchase it as like a treat, but I feel like now that my skin's in a much better place, I say this as I have like so much acne right now, hormonal, but I feel like because my skin's in a better place, I, I just don't need to necessarily invest in this all the time, but I feel like I would buy it again as like a treat. Okay. Vinyl gloves again, not great for the environment. This is Haley making the biggest attempt to try to get rid of my contact dermatitis. So I like my hands to be clean which probably again how I got this in the first place. I can't use hand sanitizer. I can't use most soaps that are in public places. So when I'm out and about, like not at a restaurant, although I could, I mean, you can do whatever you want. When I'm in my car, I feel like you guys get me. If I'm in my car and I'm picking up Subway, for example, I can't sanitize my hands. I, I could just leave it in the wrapper and hold it by the wrapper. A lot of the time I'll just put on a glove for my right hand and eat it with that because I can't use hand sanitizer. I can't wash my hands. And this is where I'm at with trying to just get rid of it. My hope is like, if I can get rid of the dermatitis completely, maybe it won't come back. Like maybe the skin is just so raw that every time it touches whatever substance is infecting it, it, it gets infected really quickly. So I, I don't know, this is, doctors have tried to help me. One of my best friends is a nurse, wants to be a nurse practitioner, can't figure out how to help me. This is just where I'm at. Okay, we have the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shave Oil. This is definitely one of my favorite scents. I have recently tried the vanilla and I like that one too. I do like this one. It smells very tropical, smells like a vacation, smells like you live in Hawaii, which I do coconutty, but this stuff is awesome. I'm still waiting for them to make an unscented version, but it's great because it really is an oil. Like I just will, and it's great because I don't have to make contact with it with my hand. I just will like pump it on and then I will just shave like normal. And I feel like I get a really close shave. I feel like my skin feels hydrated. It doesn't gunk up my razor. I don't feel like I'm ruining the environment as much with like those aluminum, you, you know, the, the, the shave cream types. I tried a lot of different scents. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. Okay. Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I bought a two pack of these at Costco that came with like, it says it's a travel size. It's more than three ounces though. So you can't travel with it, not in a carry on, but Okay, really, really like this. It's one I've been using for years. I actually started using it when I was on Accutane and it's just a really, really gentle cleanser. I do have sensitive skin, so it's great for that. And I use this only in the morning. In the evenings, I'll still use one that helps to fight acne. But in the mornings when I just wanna like, just get the sleep off my face, this works really, really well. And this container lasts forever because I only use it once a day and I have a two pack. So once I'm through that, I'm sure I wanna try something different cause I'll be tired of it. But I do really like this. And for the price, you can get it at the drugstore. It's a really, really great value. Fast absorbing baby oil. I use this to take off my eye makeup. I feel like it does an awesome job. It is one of the least expensive eye makeup removers. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It lasts a long time. And this is just the Up and Up brand from Target. 
and, and I feel like I've had a hard time finding it now. Like I actually had to buy a Johnson and Johnson one recently because I feel like I'm wondering if Target just isn't making these anymore. I'm not sure, but baby oil is definitely the way to go with taking off eye makeup. Doesn't cost a whole lot and works really well. Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast Shower Gel. My mom bought this for me a couple of years ago in like a whole champagne toast set for Christmas. It's like two Christmases ago now. And I loved this. I love champagne toast. It's one of my favorite scents. It's very, it's funny, it's very fall to me. I don't know why, but it's very like fall wintry. And uh, part of me is like, is that a mental thing? Because I received it for Christmas. I'm associating it with that, but I don't know. I use this in the morning. Like if I go to the gym in the morning and shower, I like to use shower gels or body washes in the morning that have a really nice scent. I just, there's something about it that makes me feel like it wakes me up faster. But in the evenings I'll use like, I'm using an Aturium right now that's like super, super gentle just for my sensitive skin. But in the morning, I love to use something more like this. I use the whole thing up. I would repurchase, but again, I have sensitive skin, so I sometimes have to be careful. So I definitely wouldn't use this like twice a day or anything like that. Okay, we have Equate Nail Polish Remover. This is in like a pump. The Equate brand is from Walmart, I feel like. And this did a great job just taking off nail polish. And I do like the ones with a pump because I feel like you're not wasting as much product when you're dumping it out. It's also a little less intense on my hands. Again, I'll often wear a glove when I take off nail polish or put on nail polish because of my sensitive skin, but it's really interesting. You know, if you buy nail polish remover from CVS with acetone in it, you have to give your ID. Interesting, right? But I don't have to do that anywhere else. Kind of strange, but I guess they're taking as many precautions as they can. Oh, we have a Naturium, another purple cleansing balm. This goes to show you how much I love it. And we have another O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Soap. Again, tells you how much I love it. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray here. It's definitely my all time favorite. I feel like it helps your makeup last all day without changing the finish. It just helps everything kind of blend together, but it also holds onto your makeup. It does a really great job. Like there's a reason this is such an all time favorite for so many people and I've recently repurchased it. So love this one. I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Mont Blanc. I really, really like this, you guys. This I would totally repurchase. It's definitely more of a natural finish foundation, which is really great. If you really love foundation that has some coverage, but you like it to also be a little more lightweight. This one is really great. This would be great for like the spring and summer months. I feel like as we're getting into more fall and winter, again, I live in Hawaii, but in my mind, the seasons are still there. I definitely use a little more coverage in those months. So um, I don't know though. I bought this around Christmas time. I used this all year until I used it up, but it's definitely like a lighter, more natural type of finish, but it does have some good coverage. We have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour full, full wear, full coverage concealer. I did not like this for under the eyes. I felt like it made my under eyes look really cakey, but anytime that happens with concealer, I just use it to, as like a cream highlight to highlight the high points of my face and add a little more coverage. And it worked really well for that. So highly recommend that. If you have a concealer that is the right shade for you, but is not very good under the eyes, use it to, you know, cream highlight the face because that's always what I do when I find a concealer I don't like. CoverGirl Easy Breezy Microfine Brow Pencil. I love these. I've repurchased these so many times. Is this Honey Brown though? Honey Brown is the shade I like. I had repurchased one in a darker shade that I didn't like as much, but I did use this all the way up. So maybe it is Honey Brown. I'm not too sure. Because one thing about it, if you use it a lot, the words start to come off. But I like it. It has a spoolie. It does a really good job of just like filling in the brows and then you can take your spoolie and just kind of diffuse it with that, kind of blend everything together. I love these. I would not purchase another high-end brow product unless I really, really loved it and it was on sale. I just feel like the drugstore does just as well, if not better. Part of it too was I did so many declutters. So a lot of these are from declutters. So this is my Lime Crime Venus Liner. This liner is so good. Like if you have a hard time keeping liners on, this one will last you all day. I mean, when it is on there, it is on there. The only kind of bummer about it is that it can make your lashes stick together. So you have to be really careful with application. It does a good job creating a wing, but because it is so gloopy and so strong holding, like other liners, this isn't the only one I have that has done that. It'll kind of stick the lashes together and then you have a really hard time with your mascara kind of combing them out to ungloop them together. But 
seriously, if you have a hard time keeping liquid liner on, this one is amazing and it creates a really good wing. I like it a lot. This was the closest dupe I could find to the NYX matte liquid liner before they created the new one that is a, kind of a similar formula to this actually. They sent this to me. So if you're watching this Lime Crime, thank you for sending this to me. I really, really loved it. We have the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. I really, really liked this. This did an awesome job of like, it actually stayed on all day. It did pretty well with crying, which not all tubing mascaras do. This one's tubing. I feel like it added some volume. It was mostly lengthening, but it did add some volume. It's just hard because mascaras, you have to repurchase them every few months. And I don't love having to pay like a Sephora price, but it is a really good mascara and I like it a lot. So I've kind of gone back to my Milani anti-gravity lash extension tubing mascara, but I do like this one just a little bit better. There's that. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in their cute little travel size. This came with an e.l.f. order, and this is what made me fall in love with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer because I used to think it broke me out, but it wasn't this that was breaking me out at the time. And so once I realized it, I started using this. I pulled this out of a drawer and it does such a good job. I understand now why everyone loves it and I have since purchased the full size. So. I really, really loved this. And I kind of like this too, because this one has a really little thin applicator as opposed to the big size that you have to like pump out. I kind of like this because the product that was dispersed was like the perfect amount when I just put it on my face like this. And with the full size, I feel like I go I'm going through it a lot faster because of the type of pump that it has. So I would almost consider when I run out of that, picking up a travel size again, because I almost feel like the travel size lasted a little longer. You guys are gonna judge me, it's okay. I'm judging me too. It's the Bath & Body Works Snowy Peach Berry Hand Sanitizer. I was still using hand sanitizer every now and then until a couple months ago which I know is really bad and was not helping my hand. There's something about germs in me and not wanting to touch things if my hands weren't sanitized and I didn't want to do the glove thing, but now I've just given into doing the glove thing. Judge away. I'm trying to be better now, but I'm also not being better because I'm hurting the environment with all the gloves I'm using. We have the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Brow Gel. They sent this to me as well. I liked this a lot, but it wasn't as strong holding as some others that I like a little bit more. I just like a little bit more grip than this one. I did use the whole thing up and I did like it. I just think I like a, a brow gel with just a little bit more hold. Like this just was a little bit too light for me, but I did like it. It's not like it was bad. If you like ones that don't give as much hold, you would probably love this. Okay, we have two eyeliners here. We have the J Cat Rockin' Glitz eyeliner. I really, really like this one. This is in their shade Tuxedo Mask. It's their black shade. They have other ones that have like glitter in them. This is the one that's matte and black. This does such a good job. I almost forgot about this. I'm glad I saw it because I have been loving the Renaissance flick. Is this a brush tip? Yes, this is a brush tip. So if you like a brush tip liner, I actually like this one a little bit more than the NYX Epic Ink, believe it or not. I really like it. It's really good. If you don't like brush tip, you probably wouldn't like it, but I do love this one. And then we have, oh no, I'm not getting rid of this. Why did I put this in here? This is my NYX Original Matte Liquid Liner that I cannot part with because it's the original packaging, it's the original formula. I did use the whole thing up, but this was supposed to go in like my little keepsake makeup drawer so I need to put that in okay there. and now we have a lip liner have I ever had a lip product in an empties I don't think so I have a series on my channel right now in case you didn't know of shorts where every day I swatch one of my lip products I have so many lip products it will probably take me forever to get through them and I purchased some new ones so I don't know if the series will ever really be over I feel like every day they'll just be some kind of lipstick content this is a gel lip liner that took me years to finish but I did and it is the the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. This formula is awesome. It really, really stays on through everything. The only thing I need to warn about, like this would be great for a liquid lipstick. If you have more of a moisturizing lipstick that you know is gonna wear off throughout the day, that lipstick will wear off, but this liner will still be on and it will look crazy. So that's just a warning that I maybe wouldn't use this formula with a lighter, more moisturizing, easy to remove lipstick because this will be left and seriously, the number of times I looked in the mirror at the end of the day, I'm like, I have no lip product on except for my lip liner and it looks insane. I don't know, maybe filling in the whole lip with this first too would help, but I'm not too sure. I haven't tried that with this one, but I do love this formula. It is really good, Just that's just a warning. And finally, we have a summer candle. 
This I, I know I got from Target. It's the green mango and pomelo with notes of grapefruit and peach. This is definitely a summer scent. My husband and I both love this scent. We burned it so much that we actually burned through almost the whole thing in one season, believe it or not. So I definitely wanted to put this in here. I was determined. I was like, I want to break out the fall scents. We are going to burn through our summer candles. So we burned through one. The other one we have in our bathroom, not as much, but that's okay. We can pull it out for next summer. But I did really like this. The scent throw was really good with this too. I felt like our whole living room smelled like it and it's not a huge candle like i said i got it from target i just i didn't want to spend a ton in at bath and body works at the time so i was like you know what they're perfectly good candles at target i'm just gonna pick up one of those and I, we ended up really really liking this all right guys that was a lot i'm gonna have to count how many that was if you enjoyed this video i hope that you will subscribe and give the video a thumbs up it does really help out my channel if you're already subscribed i hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.